So we're here at the Lunar Connect, and who are you? Uh, so I'm John Masters, uh, Chief Farm Architect at Red Hat, uh, where I represent Red Hat's uh, interests in uh, the Lunaro Enterprise Group, of which we are one of the founding members. Uh, and I also was elected by the Enterprise Group to represent them uh, in the broader Lunaro uh, Technical Steering Committee. So, so what's, what's the latest, what's going on? You were showing off a 64-bit server, right? Correct, yeah. I was showing uh, actually a couple of different servers. So uh, at uh, Connect, I think it's the first time that we've shown what we call our Partner Early Access Program, running in this case on uh, AMD Seattle uh, and uh, Applied Micro uh, Mustang hardware. Uh, so it's two different hardware platforms running exactly the same operating system with the same kernel. Uh, and what we're doing at this point is we're booting with both EFI and with ACPI. So we're showing that uh, you can have a single server platform as you do with other architectures uh, and you can run a common operating system on top of that. Um, so we don't have a product today, but we have a couple of different options. We have um, Fedora, which is well supported in the Fedora project, uh, and the upcoming Fedora 21 release uh, toward the end of the year uh, is going to have good support for 64-bit platforms, uh, both in the embedded case and also in the server case. Uh, and then we have what we call our early access program, which targets um, emerging servers. And today we've shown it on uh, the Applied Micro uh, Mustang platform and also on uh, the AMD Seattle. Uh, that means they're exactly the same software? Yes, unmodified. You don't need to change anything at all? No. It just works on both? No, same kernel. Uh, you know, common platform, and this is one of the reasons that we've been working very strongly over the last few years on uh, the server-based system architecture, which is a hardware specification, uh, and also the server-based boot requirements, which is a uh, software uh, platform specification that uh, relies upon the, the, the preceding one. Um, so by having the two, you can have what we would define to be uh, the minimum requirements for an ARM server. Uh, so everything that's been going on here at Linaro is actually successful? It's working out. Uh, I think it's been I think it's been wonderful. I think uh, the enterprise group has a lot of engineers working on some really interesting stuff. Uh, over the last couple of years, since we founded LEG, we've worked on um, a lot of components for the base platform. So booting with UEFI, we can now network boot. We can use EFI runtime services like you do on x86 to get the time of day to get to reboot the system. So you don't have to have like a special driver for rebooting your computer and all this stuff. Um, we've got network booting working there. We've got um, ACPI, good, good support for the initial sort of uh, discovering devices. Um, over the next few months, there's going to be runtime power management work done for ACPI, which would be really cool. Um, there's work happening on OpenStack. There's work happening on uh, Golang language support, so we can get Docker running. Um, and then, so you can run a, you know, an OpenStack uh, instance with Docker containers and... What's Docker? Know. So Docker is a uh, containerized... Um, software architecture which lets you um, kind of create, instead of having virtual machines, you create these containers, so they're kind of like, uh, I guess, Chirut on steroids, uh, and it lets, you, um, it, lets you, it lets you provide a very, very lightweight way of distributing software. And it's currently seeing a lot of interest, a lot of traction in the enterprise space. Um, and, you know, in the ARM space in particular, we think that a lot of people building, uh, you know, web servers, in embracing the sort of DevOps mentality um, are going to want rapid integration, rapid CI, rapid development, and Docker is one way they like to deploy uh, applications. So again, it's a useful thing to enable, um, and good work is happening there. So I think over the next few months, you're going to see us moving up the stack from the base platform, which is in good shape now, uh, to uh, the point where we have uh, really good support for you know not just operating systems, because operating systems are great, but you want to run software on top of those. So we're working on the higher level components like OpenStack, um, like Docker, like the languages that are needed for this to work. Uh, and then we're building out the ISV story. So what we announced at Connect as well is that there's a, a lab being built within Lonaro that will host hardware from multiple vendors uh, over time. And that will allow uh, third party ISVs that don't have their own 64-bit ARM hardware yet uh, to get access to hardware. So uh, in, that, in, that, uh, in that context, they can apply to companies like mine and they can say, okay, well, sure, we can run Fedora, no problem, you just, just install that. If you want to run um, you know, uh, early access program uh, components and so on, you can email us and say, hey, we'd like to run that in um, this infrastructure and we can chat about that. So it provides a means for uh, you know, building out the ISV ecosystem. And as part of that, we also had an ecosystem day here. So we had a lot of people 
get together from different ISVs and come and you know ask us questions. So Docker guys were there. Some other people you know from different ISVs came, um, and we had conversations. We we uh, gave them a story about or an update on on where we are in terms of platform support, and they gave us the story as to where they are um, with with operating system ports of their software. So it was very interesting. So what kind of questions did they ask? Um, well, I, some of it was kind of you know. Beginners' questions like, you know, where do we get hardware? When can we get it? What operating systems do we have? And some of it was pretty detailed stuff. Like, okay, well, uh, you know, I'm porting my my, my software to uh, to this platform. You know, what's the state of support of these languages? Do you have this version of this language? Do you, uh, you know, what's the situation with ABI stability and and all these things? So, um, a lot of different kinds of questions. And I think it's going to be the first of many of these kinds of events. So it's very clear to us that um, porting software is great. But you got to have um, developers. You know, I won't do the Steve Ballmer. Well, I will. Developers, developers, developers. Right. So he does yeah. that thing back in the day. But on some level, that's true. Right. You you need to have developers there to uh, to build out an ecosystem. So we're trying to really do that next. Um, and then I think we get to the next connect in the spring, and we've had a few more events, maybe some third party events where we've um, brought developers in, and um, we get to the next connect, and hopefully we're talking about even further up the stack more um, end-user software, more third-party applications. So it's going to be very interesting. And so Red Hat is huge in the server market, right? Yes, and, I think that's everywhere. true. Everywhere. And yes. uh, how huge is it going to be in ARM? Um, I think that remains to be seen. I think what we treat ARM as an emerging technology. So what that means is we're seeing a lot of customer interest in ARM. People ask us all the time, hey, what's, what are you doing with ARM? And we tell them, well, we have Fedora, and we have um, the early access program that we announced in July. Uh, so that people can get access to um, what a uh, enterprise quality operating system would look like. We're not shipping a product yet, but we're um, soliciting feedback. So we're looking for people to run these bits, try them on real hardware, and tell us, you know, what if what if we ever did a product? Uh, well, would they like to see one? And uh, you know, would what we have um, be sufficient for what they want? And so right now we're in that kind of learning phase. But obviously, we're investing, and obviously, we're preparing for um, you know multiple possibilities. And companies like AMD and uh, Apply Micro yes. and TI, a bunch of guys are going to provide the hardware and, and big volumes, right? Soon. Uh, I think so. I think we're looking at uh, we're looking at 2015. It's going to be a really good year.